Welcome back to AM Northwest. It's really a fun way to cook chicken on the grill and even more fun to eat. Here to share a delicious recipe, we welcome back the co-authors of Fire and Wine, Mary Kressler and Sean Martin. Great to Yay. see you. Yay. Good to see you. Happy Hug to you too. Oh, you too. Bugs. <laughs> welcome back. I mean, last time he was here by himself, he I didn't know. know what to do because you weren't here. No, it's just, cool. yeah. yeah, it was a tough one. Nerve wracking. Yeah. All right, now tell me about these. You call them chicken popsicles. So tell yes, me about them. Yes, yes, yes. We call them chicken lollipops, popsicles. Lollipops. Why do I keep right? doing the popsicle it's thing? It's a sweet thing on a, on a stick. I guess. So, okay. Yeah, so lollipops. chicken is like the number one thing people cook and grill. But chicken can be so boring, right? Yeah. And dry and just a little. We're going to make chicken fun. Okay. Okay, so we are going to prepare chicken kind of like... Like picture like your rack of like a crown roast of lamb. Yeah, or yeah. Pork. You know that big dramatic like centerpiece for a holiday right, meal. Right. Well, we're gonna do something similar, but a lot more casual. Something that could be like the centerpiece for your barbecue this summer. Oh, perfect. So we're gonna make chicken lollipops, which is basically just a really fun casual way of saying we're gonna French the chicken, basically removing some of the skin, expose the bone, then we're gonna grill it, and it's gonna be beautiful, fun, and Look. it's gonna be a great, great way to do chicken. So Look Sean will really. talk okay. about the little fancy Frenching. Yes. Frenching, okay. So as Mary said, we're gonna be Frenching <laughs> the bone today. <laughs> <laughs> chuckle, chuckle. Your way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice okay, clean. I've got a knife. Yeah, you've got I've a got knife. A, so I've it's best to chicken. use a boning or fillet knife because these get right to it, right? Oh, and I don't think I've ever used a boning or fillet knife. They're okay. great. They're a great knife in addition to a chef knife, like okay. those two. Okay. And we're going to end up making it look like this. So we're exposing the bone. All right. To do that, we're going to start by cutting right against the bone. So go in hard, and oh. then you're just going to work your way around twisting the bone and watching your fingers. And that's step one. So step one is trying to separate all that different pieces so that okay. we can actually pull it off. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. And okay. don't. That's why you sharpen your knives regularly because every time you go against the bone, you're you're dulling the knife a little okay. bit. But that's the whole point. Next, you can see there's a little bits and pieces. So I like to cut those off. Oh wait, I guess I didn't get all the way through. Well, that's okay because okay. we'll just end up continuing to clean it. Okay. But basically, you want the whole thing to look like it's separated, and we're oh, okay. removing the bottom piece. So basically, I'm using my thumb at this point while you're cutting that off, and I'm slowly trying to remove all that skin and excess, and it will just pull right off. And if you want a little trick, you can take, whoops, that's okay, we'll clean that up later. We just take a little, <laughs> a little bit of paper towel, and you can also use the paper towel to rip it off because that adds a little friction because it can be slippery. Oh, let's see here. There we go. I don't know. Almost. I didn't get it, Sean. Get it's it? okay. Here, we'll pretend. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, it's almost. And if you want to use your knife, you can actually work your way down with a knife too Help if that's me. easier. Help me out here. So if that's the case, you just kind of work your way down with a knife. I see. Taking some of it off and then you can clean it up. I see, okay. Right? Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so All right, next, perfect. the last step to make it stand up is we got to take a little bit of the bottom part off to make it flat. So you can see a little bit of that bone. Mm -hmm. We just cut into it so that it's flat like this. That makes sure it stands up. So at that point, oh, look at that. That, I we're going to season it. Yes. Okay. So look at how pretty they are. It's, I like a little lopsided. Oh, it looks great. <laughs> so I, I like to think about it as like we're getting the chicken ready for the beach. We're just shaving okay. its legs, right? So it's like, <laughs> it's nice yeah. and ready. It's, it's or beach ready, ready for a date. Yeah, yeah it's, gotcha. it's date okay. night ready. Date so night. now we're just going to season it. You've made a seasoning before many yes. times in the show. We've yes. got it ready. This is just a really simple chicken seasoning. we got salt, pepper, paprika, a little bit of um, garlic, and a little bit of um, sage and thyme. Super easy. Okay. So let's, we're just going to season the chicken. Okay. Right? You don't so need to put olive oil on? No, because, well, here, we, you can olive oil it if you'd like to help oh, it I see. stick. And then we're just going to get that on the grill. So okay. we're just going to season it up on all sides and then get it on the grill like these guys. You want to okay. grab those, Sean? With yeah, your, with your if tongs. you want to grab one of those yeah. with tongs, then I'll grab yeah. one. And we're going to put it over direct heat. So we're going to start by cooking this over the flame, and, and we're going to continue to flip it until it's done. Yeah, just like we've cooked anything on the yeah. show, you're just going to keep rotating it to get grill marks. Yeah. And then once it has the grill marks and once it's close to about 160, 170 degrees, yeah. we're just going to dunk it in our sauce. Now Ooh, our sauce yeah, what's is, the sauce? so we're just jazzing up a store-bought sauce. In this case, we're using our red wine barbecue sauce, yes, which perfect. we've talked about on the show. This yep. is a wonderful sauce made from local wine. So we've added that in there. And then to jazz it up, we want to add a little bit of honey. 
Okay. Do you want me to add some? Absolutely. Or do you, or just you already toss have some? some honey in there. And if you like it spicy, you can add some sriracha or hot sauce, but we'll leave that out today. But it's an option if you, you know want to add spicy. Why they're leaving it out? <laughs> because I'm a wuss. That's why they're. <laughs> but no, if you, you would like to like. add you some, you know what you if like. If you would like to add some, it's not about <laughs> like. It's about what I can handle. It's handle. your personal preference. Yeah. Yeah. So then we add a little bit of lime. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna stir it up. Oh, like, like this. Yes. I yeah. keep forgetting that. Okay. Is it right in there, right? Right, right in, in there. there. Okay. And gotcha. then you can use that whisk to stir right up. And then gotcha. what we're going to do is right when the chicken's about to be done, you're just going to dunk it in that. Okay. And then, do you want to dunk it in there since you got the little yeah, hot you, hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better dunk it in there. So we just dunk it. Yeah. You dunk just it. Just like that. And then that gonna, really does look great. Isn't it fun? Yeah, it's yeah. just a really fun centerpiece. Yeah. So then I you can it. keep grilling it a minute or two just to let that sauce tack up. Right. But otherwise, tack up. Oh, I see. So it sticks a little more. Yeah. Otherwise, did you bring awesome. wine? Did you bring wine? We did bring okay. wine. It's right over. It's over here. Helen. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna. It's me. <laughs> and speaking I of wine, wine, I see you brought the egg with you. We did. So aren't you gonna be like at? at here's a glass for you. Oh, thank I don't see one for you. That's Sean, okay. So no I'm, worries. We can okay. This We're is good. normal. Um, so tell me about the store event because it's a big egg event. And it's going to be amazing. We're oh. doing a big summer event right after Fourth of July at Stoller Family Estate. It's going to be amazing. There's going to be celebrity chefs. We're going to be doing cooking demos. There's going to be lots of food. There's going to be lots of delicious wine, and it's completely family friendly. I mean, it is. If you have friends from out of town, this is going to be the place to go. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And we'd love to see the AM Northwest family. So yeah. Oh yeah. Come say hi. Everybody. Yeah. We're going to be all over the place. Because I know you have AM Northwest fans. Oh. We do. Oh, yeah, we do. Yes. yes. And, and they're amazing fans. Yeah. They're the so great. <laughs> they are. No. And tell me again the date of the event. July 5th and 6th. July 5th and 6th. Okay, yep. perfect. Yes. Right after 4th of July. So. Yeah, love it. And what do we have here? This is the Stoller Chardonnay. Okay. It's delicious. Great with chicken. This is like yes. a perfect chicken wine. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. We're going to put that event, of the Stoller event, on our website, k2.com. And the recipe for the popsicle chicken, lollipop. <laughs> Why do I keep doing it's, that? It's okay. Lolly, it's they fine. both have it's, pops in it's the It's on name. a stick. They're it's both on a stick. stick. Lollipops, chicken sticks. <laughs> lollipop. Uh, yeah. Nice. And again, the book is Fire and Wine. Sean Martin, Mary Kressler, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. I'm glad you came back. Don't send him alone anymore. I won't. Okay? I won't. I'm so right. sorry you had to we'll deal with that. We'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away. Oh, super good, you guys.